Okay, uh, hope you can see me here. This is my first time of ever doing a YouTube video, but uh, I was working on a, a drone quadcopter here, the unique Q500, and unfortunately I, I crashed it real hard. Kind of looked like the opening of the uh, six million dollar man crash, and it was really ugly. So. Not much left to it, in fact. Here's part of the old body, and you know, that's the good part. The rest of it's in about a hundred pieces. So, anyhow, um, as I'm replacing the body on this, I got a kit, and in the kit come these I guess you could call them, they call them motor mounts, rubber pads, grommets, whatever you want to call them that go in and, and hold the motor, they, they, the motor uh, butts up against it to stop the vibration. Okay, and they fit right here, like so. But if you can see, you have a large, it looks like a, kind of like a mushroom here. Okay, on the, on the little tabs that go in and a real small hole that they need to fit into right there. Okay, so there's four holes and uh, four four uh, mushroom heads of the pad that have to go in. Now, when you try to push them in, there's no way they want to fit in there at all. I mean, it's just that that head is is way too big for that hole, and you can lube them and, and, and put WD-40 on them and grease them. And, so on and so forth and they just do not want to go in so if you ever have to replace one um, you know and I searched the internet and YouTube and I couldn't find a video so I finally figured out a way after a couple hours and uh, the easiest way is to get yourself a needle nose pliers okay and uh, and set it on the bottom side it goes on the bottom <clears throat> and you line up your hole in your grommet like so I don't know if you can see this right here okay let me step out of the way here and then uh, you go ahead and you take your needle nose pliers here and you get it in there and you squeeze this head okay like this if you can see that you squeeze it and you get it up to the hole okay and you start the one end into the hole and you put your thumb on there to hold it there let go of your pliers okay come back get it about halfway push it in some more you're at about a 30 to 45 degree angle and you push it in a little more and then you uh you push it in a little bit more okay now the thing you got to be careful of you don't want to force this uh, that was what I was noticing that you know you don't want to break your brand new body and uh, so you got to be a little gentle here and you get it in there pretty close then you go ahead and get yourself a small screwdriver and you finish it off here okay you finish kind of wiggle it move it around eventually it'll pop in just like that okay then some you gotta flip it over and if you can see in there uh, it's not quite seated properly so you just got to take your screwdriver and go in there and, and pull it up and in a little bit and then you work on it a little bit more until it pops in there like this I'm hoping hoping you can see that right here it's popped in all the way and then you just go ahead and line up your other four holes here and uh, start that procedure again grab your needle nose get comfortable get it in a good position okay uh, get get your one end supported so that you're not hanging on to it and squeezing it that's the main thing is to be comfortable get your needle nose on there 
Okay, might take you a couple times to, to get it where you want it here. Okay, and get that the closest to the center end started in that little hole by squeezing it. And then you come back and you pinch it and you keep going. Yeah, about like so. And then you finish it off with your screwdriver. Okay, you want to be careful. You know, wiggle it around a little bit, move it. You don't want to, you don't want to punch through the rubber and stab it, put a hole in it that'll weaken it, kind of uh, defeat the purpose of the pad. It'll uh, want to move around and vibrate. This is what um, stops your motors from vibrating. Well, sometimes it'll fight you a little bit. Just be patient with it like this one this ain't going real easy so you kind of moved out of the way see all that happened right there okay luckily we did not we didn't injure it so we're in good shape but she did slide on me I was getting a little a little uh, anxious here trying to get it done quickly but uh, that's when you just got to slow down a little bit Grab it, get this guy started in there, kind of push him in a little bit at a time. Keep a little pressure on there with your thumb. Push him in, push him in a little more, wiggle it around. Get close there, I can feel it. In fact, I think it just, it just popped in there pretty good there that time without the screwdriver, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, she's it's in there now. Didn't even have to mess with it. She went right in. So a little patience. Be careful with it. There's two more to here to go, and then I got uh, two more uh, ends to go on here. So that's how you put your uh, motor mount pads on your body on your unique Q500 quadcopter drone. Thanks for watching.